this video, we will be programming irrigation with the Iponic controller. First things first, we want to connect your irrigation equipment to the controller. You can use any output, 1 through 6, or you can even hardwire 24 volt valves to output 7 or 8. For most loads though, we want the Iponic outputs to control a load relay or a contactor that's connected to the motor of your devices. However, in some cases, such as irrigation valves that are 24 volts, you can drive them directly assuming that you are wiring only one or two valves per relay. The maximum current load recommended for each relay is one amp. Now that you have connected your equipment, let's go ahead and uh, program irrigation on the Iponic controller. Now if you don't have a current output for irrigation, what we could do is we can go ahead and change one of the existing outputs to be irrigation. For instance, channel 7. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And then we're going to go ahead and scroll down to System Setup. Then we want to go to Equipment Setup. And then Advanced. Once we're in the Equipment menu, scroll down to number 7 and make number seven an irrigation device. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go into initial settings, set type, and we're going to make this output type irrigation and hit OK. And then just hit back until you prompt to save. And then hit home. As you can see, output number 7 is now an irrigation device. When programming irrigation, you have the following options. You can either cycle or trigger or both to ensure proper watering for your grow room. First, there's trigger irrigation, which can be done once daily or just a single event. And we would do this as a timed override. So if you were to go ahead and hit button number seven and then go ahead and go to timed override, time set points keep your environment stable throughout the day and night. But you may find an occasion where you would like to let your irrigation pump run steady for some period of time in addition to the slow steady trickle of the regular irrigation cycle. To achieve this, you would go into your irrigation output and choose timed override, which will allow you to do a single saturation event or a daily saturation to coincide with your regular irrigation cycle programming. Now to initiate this trigger, we want to go ahead and enable this override. And we want the override to be on. And we're going to have a start time of... 12 p.m. and we're going to have it run for a duration of ten minutes or twenty minutes and then go ahead and hit OK and we want this to occur daily now as you can see, we have enabled an override for the irrigation pump to be on start time 12 p.m. for a duration of 20 minutes. And what we're going to do is go ahead and save these changes. Now next, we have cycle irrigation which allows you to cycle your irrigation on and off numerous times throughout the day. Now to get the cycle irrigation, we're going to go ahead and hit the button for irrigation and go to settings. Now as you can see in settings button number one gives you the option to enable or disable your cycle irrigation mode. So let's go ahead and enable our cycle irrigation. You want to use buttons five and six to set your irrigation start and end times. So let's go ahead and have our start time. 6 a.m. is okay. And let's have our end time be 6 p.m. Now our on and off times, we're going to go ahead and let it trickle for 
one minute on and then 30 minutes off which is a good cycle time throughout the day once your programming is complete you want to go ahead and turn your irrigation device to auto and watch your garden grow and that's our aponic irrigation video